Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, the new order, Last Days of Europe, with me, Alpha Mega, and the Empire of Japan. So in the last episode we have um well, we ended up with the option of actually intervening in the War of the Republic of China, which we will hopefully do, uh, but we have different fish to fry at this point. We need to finish up the fight against Leopold Will for Waltung and against UNITA before we actually can pull our units back home and enter the war. In the meantime, we're working on uh, the Agricultural Relief Act in uh, the diet, which is great. That's just furthering out our GDP and thus lowering our debt to GDP. Our euro surplus is actually also increasing and we're slowly repaying the debt, which is just, you know, that's how it should be, literally. That's how it should be. Uh, we finished recently in the last episode of technology, though I'm not entirely sure which one it was. Uh, was it the advanced and equipment? Might have been, but because I started the recording and we started the game, I think it might have just decided to not show me, which of course is its prerogative. So, because we're working on the advanced cruiser, uh, let me just check this one. Nope, that's way out of time. What about industry? Uh, I think it's still way out of time. What about Navy? Doesn't really help. These are all way too out of time. This is purely just for field hospitals. A tank helicopter company, that's just signal company. Okay, we're using the signal company at the tanks, so let's finish out the signal company and we'll finish out the field hospitals and then we're gonna start working on the industry. Makes sense. So signal company free. Signal companies focus on communications between the different branches of the military can ensure that ground forces are able to coordinate efforts with sea and air operations and plan their movements more rapidly. And that said, let us look at the Hohei Shidan here, because we were thinking about adding some APCs to these units. And while I would prefer doing that, okay, we now have enough available for that. We don't have enough for this one, but this would still be a significant increase in strength. I like that they would get... Uh, I like they would get the breakthrough and defense boosts, which are really important for them. I don't really care much about the soft and hard attack, though of course it is also important, but for them it will be... The, these are not going to be the units that are going to advance, it's going to be the tanks which are going to be advancing. So getting you guys there like this... And what did we say later? Something Eventually something like this might be... A pretty good choice. This would make sure that they are covered uh, and won't get attacked by anti-air. And they will have enough strength to resist any kind of attacks. It will boost their defense and breakthrough. This might actually be a better choice. Okay, so could we give you the... Uh, the mobile battalion here, the APC, and two units of anti-air. Would you have enough for that? Uh, you would have way more than enough for that. Okay, so let's actually do that. That's going to change significantly and dramatically our army size, but we should be fine. You guys are advancing, and you guys are advancing. The fight here is a bit more of a struggle. Because we're probably gonna get pushed out of here. I mean, we're hurting the enemy significantly here uh, on their attack, but they're attacking us with. Wait, is this. One. Yeah, they're attacking us with both of their motorized units. So if we hold out here, it will mean that we are doing. Pretty good things, though we're not gonna be able to eventually. We'll arrive in one day, 19 hours. I 
Well, either way, we're gonna break in through here. So if these guys lose it, it's actually. Uh... Yeah, I should have sent them to Divan. That would have been so much better. But alas, not much to discuss now. Okay, you guys are gonna go over there. So this is gonna be a struggle, but you're gonna return and then attack immediately. And this one no longer looks like a relevant attack. So we're just gonna wait for you to recover, and then we're gonna attack together. And that's gonna be more than enough to push them back. And then from here we're gonna attack over there together. That's gonna be better. Okay, I like that more. Uh, I like that more. Okay, so there Vitruva is nobody left here. So we have to wait for this attack to fail. They're defending here, but still I don't like the fact that they are under attack. Because that could still spell trouble for us. Yeah, this fight over here is not going our way. Not at all. Okay, so they're helping us basically repel this attack. And if we actually take this one, this unit is going to get encircled. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just broke that attack. So that means these guys should be able to hold on. Uh, but we're asking them to do a bit too much. Yeah, I need to get you closer. We can't do this with just one unit. Okay, you guys look at there. And we need to take this area and push them beyond the river. That's a bit more strategic place to be. Okay, did we save the agent? We did. Okay, so let us just... I'm gonna build an intel network here, and you're gonna build an network. Yeah, th these guys are gone. China is owning this, finally. Good for them. How are you doing on logistics? You know that we weren't doing all that hot on helicopters. 43 transport in reserve. And attack ones, pretty free. Okay, that's that's actually not bad. Okay, and now we need to repel this attack again, which with two divisions is not going to be an issue. And because they are attacking us here, a counter attack is going to be super easy. And they're sending in reinforcements, so we can actually send both of our units in here and do a push towards the border here and cut off this entire area. Okay. I like how that sounds. And this one is... Jesus, there's just one unit left. 3.8, 3.7, 3.6. They have a very high defense, but this could still happen for... Yeah, it could still happen. And they are just reinforced. No, they did. Oh, that's amazing! We did it. Okay, I'm really surprised there, but very pleasantly. So once you get in here, and I'm gonna strike deep into their territory. I'll get in here and probably immediately get under an attack. But that doesn't matter, we can keep pushing here. <gasps> okay, I don't know how we did that, but we did it. <laughs> Amazing! So Azandelan should now have a GDP of about 2 billion? Oh no, okay, 1.8 million. It's not their territory and they are still at war, but... That should still be more enough. I mean, screw it. We're not gonna 
quite nice here. We're gonna go straight up for Elizabeth Will. And you will go over here. And you will go over here. And we're gonna push into this territory. So good, that actually means a ton for us. Okay, this division is really good. The big red one. Kudos to the Americans, they fielded a better division than we can for this fight. Okay, it's gonna pass easily. I'm thinking whether or not... Okay, we're gonna do it once it's done. I don't think... Why haven't we bomb... Why haven't we done that? We can authorize a bombing sortie. Um, but... What I wanted to do here was this. I wanted to actually launch a propaganda campaign again to ensure that we are not gonna suffer. But for now, you know, we're fine. We can just keep that political power in the bank. But it looks like Azandaland is gonna win. And this should solidify us way towards further pushing. Uh, down the Americans and Germany away from us based on the score Okay, so China is continuing And that of Italy, where's the West Africa crisis, oh that's us um, Total defeat Colombian civil war, don't we have an ongoing there should be an ongoing f fight here. For some reason it's not listed, but okay. I mean, that doesn't really bother us too much. They're involved and that means that they're gonna get a total loss here. Okay, GDP is gonna further increase by 0.23%. That means depth is gonna drop. Surplus is good. Self-sufficient rice market is gonna come soon. I really want the poverty rate to start, you know, going to hell. Because we, we're like lowering it, but not by much. We need the next one, which is the temporary relief. But once we finish the sufficient self-sufficient rice market, we cannot go with this one. We need to switch to the end of wartime rationing, um, because once that bill will be there, we need this one. Then we're gonna go with loosen urban curfews and a temporary relief. And this one is the big one. Together with the self-sufficient market, they're gonna help us greatly. So hopefully we can do that. I think I can speed this one up. New capital in Belize. After substantial planning, millions in investments and years of difficult work, Belizean Prime Minister George Cato Price and his government announced the completion of a new capital, Belmopan. The new city, whose name is a combination of the word Belize and the Mopan River, replaces the old capital of Belize City, which was devastated by Hurricane Hattie a few years ago. While it is a small while it is small and lacks the history of its predecessors, the new capital is located far inland and 75 meters above water, making it substantially better protected from the elements. Even as many governments express skepticism and hesitancy, Belize is already relocating, relocating its government in a new city and encouraging settlement from citizens. Many hope Belmopan can re represent a fresh start for the small nation. It's actually pretty cute. Okay, so... Angolans are attacking us, but we need to take this area. That's a port and leads to Luanda, which is their capital. So that should be our primary goal now. Okay, you can actually just stay here. Oh no, not, not you. Well, but okay, even you, whatever. We just attack, cut them off, eliminate them, take their capital, and we'll be done. The Republic of China has installed the flames of rebellion from the Western insurrection before it burns out of control, and the Xinan Reconstruction Authority has come to re-establish order in Xinan. 
The Mad Dog has been put down and order in Southwest reigns one more. China is done! Okay, so they managed to do it. They managed to do it. Even without our help. I'm really happy for them. Um, so yeah, we now need to wait for the bill in the diet, which is gonna pass. 247 and 57. Bill passes in the diet. Our government stability increases by 6. And GDP is increased by 0.5%. And because it's 2nd of June, we can now see that we have 275 billion. And debt to GDP is now less than 96%. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by these numbers. <laughs> okay, the end of wartime rationing. In the era where Japan cruises itself to its place among the superpowers of the new Cold War, it seemed odd that the rationing system is still in place. America and Germany are enjoying their economic growth, while the Japanese still subsist on the limitations imposed by its national mobilization law. With a cap on consumer spending, the economy can grow only at snail's pace. Luxuries such as tea and tobacco are not freely available, prompting an emergence of black market that seeks to rob honest, hardworking citizens of the fruits of their labor. The reformists have, since the foundation of their clique, demanded the abolishment of price controls and other such measures that hamper the consuming habits of the Japanese people. With them in government, it became one of the conditions of their confidence in the chambers of the diet. In their proposition, if their position passes, the average citizen would no longer be inhibited by arbitrary measures designed to win a war already won. What kind of things did Kido Itas wanted from us? Came over dinner, strong arm them, sweeten the deal, and then a traditionalist bent. Okay, and Privy Council connection. On Kido's turn, the responsibilities of leaders. Raise the military issue. Okay, so we would. Replace no restrictions with rules of engagement, which improves the military. Finishing of Kaya. Corruption and Barakas. Anti corruption act. And secure the rights. So, way less focused on economy, more on stability and Kido Ites. I'm kind of happy that we didn't go that route, to be quite honest. Okay, so with 222 MPs, we get 76 political power, and we should be fine when it comes to the government, aren't we? Yep, everything is okay here. So, improve relations with reformists and conservatives, and then we're going to focus on independence, because these guys we just ignore completely, and I think that with... Having everybody in good would be the best. Uh, wait, <laughs> I forgot where we were. <laughs> Over here, and we're actually pushing forward. We're still being attacked. Uh, but it seems like the situation here is sort of secured. Though they've taken... No, we've actually taken part of their territory. Okay. That's actually good. Okay, so we're making a pro some progress here, finally. And we can move in here as well. And because the Americans are pushed over here and here, we do not need to worry about them. So you can go and you can just support it. And then we'll have an open attack on... Here and here. Ovambulan declared war on Republic of Namibia. Really? Another fight? I mean, we know it was bound to happen, but... Still. Okay. So can we be cheeky here and do something like this? We can, and we will. So this one is going to end soon. I wonder if they're going to join the co-prosperity sphere. I mean, they should, and literally is in their best interest. General Sun Dianing is arrested. Why didn't they alert anyone? 
So the ending was relieved after Jesfield76 had let him go some days prior. He made a note of himself to stay out of the way of secret police in the future, especially now that he would soon be retiring. Still, he has been released and relieved of the burden of their suspicions, at least in an official capacity. It was not as if further interrogations would yield anything more. They had nothing on him and it would continue that way. As he sat by the window, smoking a cheap cigarette, he wondered if any of his colleagues would also be interrogated. Still, the matter was over for him and thus not worth troubling himself too much with. It therefore came as a great surprise to General Sun, after opening the door of his apartment, to be greeted by the sight of three officers of the Kempatai and a particular nervous translator. Without as much as a... Nice. So this one is done. And will they join us? That is in stars. Um, without as much as feigned the gesture of respect for military rank, he was grabbed and handcuffed by two of the Kempatai agents, while the third read off a number of charges they had brought against him. All the General Sun Tianning was hurriedly shoved in the back of a featureless truck, while the Chinese translator did his best to relay the news to him. While Sun was sure they had nothing on him, just like the Chessfield 76, he couldn't help but feel like he would be taken in for a rather long time. Chessfield 76, is that a Chinese? Or was it? Is this guy from the NRA? Uh, I'm confused. Can anybody, if you guys know, please let me know what's going on in this event. I'm not entirely sure what this pertains to. Um, he couldn't help but feel he would be taken in for a rather long this time. It didn't take long for the Chinese authorities to notice Sun's arrest and disappearance into the bowels of the Kempatai's local department. Most troubling, though, was the lack of an explanation for the actions of the Japanese agents, who had simply descended upon the old general quiet apartment complex without as much as a phone call to any authority in China. A demand for transparency was in order, and it would be coming straight from the general staff of the ROC. To see their colleague treated in such a manner was a striking insult, and regardless of what overruling authority the Kempatai might have within the sphere, they had a dangerous line. They had a dangerous line which could not go ignored. I guess they crossed a dangerous line? Why didn't they alert anyone? So let me just see about the you what's your GDP? 1.32 billion. Mabutu Sesiseko is reading you okay so let's speed it up a little bit i'd like to get to the end of the wartime rationing okay poverty rate started to finally decrease a little bit we're still losing the infant uh industry expertise though that really bothers me uh can you what the actual hell happened here? You guys were knocked out of the combat and now only the supporting unit is fighting in there. That's... Rather ridiculous. So can we change you to move in there and you to stay here? Okay, stop it. You are gonna move and attack. And you're just gonna support it. I don't see general staff demands explanation and struggles end. Nice! <laughs> the morning was cool. Goro's relaxed walk, a rather serene affair, as he meandered haphazardly upon the paths outside his home. It hadn't always been like this, the mountain air brushing through his hair as he looked up upon the view which has worked so hard which he had worked so hard to procure, a certain pride welling up from within. The middle aged man had not always been a former farmer either, nor had he always wanted to be. There had been a time where he was a soldier, a veteran one at that, and his past had not entirely faded into the background of his now more peaceful present. Every week or so, a boy from the local village would climb the mountain, lugging with him a basket of papers detailing the events of the time, whether they be local fishing contests or diplomatic movements of empires abroad. And when, time, when the time came, Goro asked him the same thing, a single paper to Japanese military digest, 
and and every time he came, Goro asked him the same thing, a single paper, the Japanese the military digest. And every time the boy delivered, he had made sure to pay him well, rewarding the courier for such a find, and seeing fit that he could afford to buy something on the treacherous road back home. Routine? Um, routine. It was important to a soldier and a farmer, and for that reason it fit the veteran well. His common day would task weaving a web of pertinent must-dos that would guide him with purpose in his day's day-to-day -day living. Today, however, his routine was knocked off kilter as he unfurled the black and white paper between his hands, legs curled over one another upon his bench as he began to adjust his eyes uh, to today's writings. He had often tried to forget what he had done for the Empire, what he had done for Japan, and it never really brought him the same pride that his, that his life now did, and he feared it never would. His joy dimmed as he perused the articles, a certain boisterous headline catching his eye, an ache forming just above his brow, as it did so. In a bold lettering it read, The Congo secured Mobutu Ascendant. For a moment he paused, breath ceasing as he pondered the end of their fight upon the frontier of anti-imperial struggle. Wor words not forming in his head to describe the feeling he now could sense in him. He had served with distinction to support his man, support this man for the empire, and now he had been, now it had been worth it. Jesus Christ, this is so many sentences, long sentences. He had served with distinction to support this man for the empire, and now it had been worth it. He smiled as the feeling in his chest now became palpable, described only as the triumph of success. That will do. So we get 100 political power, and as I'm the one, Becomes a sphere observer, increasing their G annual GDP growth factor by 5%. They will now be known as the Republic of Zaire, and they joins our economic sphere. So what's their final GDP? 1.42 billion. They have a GDP growth of 3.09%. Poverty rate is actually fairly low, but GDP per capita is $57. As Aldemand wins the Civil War. As the Congo Basin finally returns to some semblance of peace, it is clear that the outcome has been decided in favor of not a country, but a man, Mobutu Sese Seko, namely. A former Central African SS officer, Mobutu was discharged in the 50s for allegedly planning a revolt with his fellow officers and commanders, as well as, the, as for the theft of military equipment. Following a his coup of the Azandavan government with his accused co-conspirators, Frusta referred to it as a conspiracy theory. Having received hefty Japanese backing throughout and immediately following the Congo Wars, it is expected that Mobutu's civilian dictatorship will move fast to establish its presence, if nothing else. Ah, the apolitical strongman dictator. Okay, so you're staying here, resting. I think we can actually go here and prepare for that attack while you... No, you will move here and then to Luanda. And the ROC General Staff demands explanation, actually. First, let me just get a couple more of these. I wanted to invest a little bit more into the agency, though. Um, let's modernize the department. We're really not using cryptology at all. But I would like to do it. Okay, so the NRA 40th Army Group is back. But they are no longer at war with China. Nor is Sehoku Hamegun. Military junta, no elections. Hmm. State of Manchuria. Mengyang Shinan Reconstruction Authority Five billion. Well, okay, we're gonna see that in the next uh, report. Uh, so the arrows. Wait, you know, I forgot about the most important thing that I actually wanted 
which was the offices. Okay, now we're gaining a little bit more political power from that. So let me build a couple more schools and where I can. Because I'm pretty sure they're gonna help with the research. Uh, we can build a bunch on Taiwan. Okay, not here, but. I mean, sure, I know these are not worth our time, but I'm still gonna do it. Uh, ROC General Staff demands explanation. Not wishing to waste any more time, while the Kempatai continued to violate not only a significant number of laws and treaties, but also the dignity of the Chinese army, the ROC General Staff gathered in the early morning to force the issue to a swift conclusion. As they sat around an office made hazy by a mixture of cigarette smoke, after some hours of discussion, it was decided that a telegram would be sent straight to the very top, to the Prime Minister of Japan. The General Staff would demand an answer to two questions relating to General Sun's capture. Firstly, why had the Kempatai decided to overrule the Faro, Faro and Sound interrogation conducted by Jessfield 76? Secondly, why had they decided to abduct the General without as much as a word to the proper authorities, most importantly the ROC General Staff itself? The telegram concluded with a request that should that should any wrongdoing be discovered, that the general be allowed to deal with generals be allowed to deal with it. So the ROC general staff. The message was then quickly dispatched after being marked as distinctly urgent. Most of the general staff elected to wait for a response, rather than retire to bed and risk finding that the situation had grown ever more appalling. When a reply from the Prime Minister did not arrive after several hours, the general staff were left with two possibilities as to what was occurring in Tokyo. Either the Japanese were still foundering for an appropriate answer to send back to them, or that the Prime Minister had simply decided to ignore their demands outright. I kind of don't like that this might lead to some kind of crisis that would eliminate our uh, our current focus stream. So let's hope that's not gonna happen. We can improve the relations with the uh, independence, as we said, and you know what, with the Kido Itas as well. So we're gonna have good relations with them, good relations with reformists, good relations with conservatives. Poor with the independence, but we have 248 and peace now, which took away all of our political power, but we can now, you know, rest, knowing that we are fine. The support in the House of Peers will decrease by 10%. This will happen because we have 60 or more. Uh, okay. But it's fine, I mean, we have a massive support everywhere. Faction will decrease by some of so we don't need to invest anything in it at all at this point. Uh, so let's just end by taking this area. When will you arrive? One day in 10 hours. One day in 21 hours. Okay, so they'll be there faster, unfortunately. When will you arrive here? In one hour. Okay, I wanted you to actually help with this fight, but that's not gonna happen. You just won't be fast enough. Um, but this unit proves, you know, super weak. So there is not an issue, we'll take this. And they're moving. So let us support this attack first. And then we can go attack here. nine days china demands an explanation okay we'll leave that one to the next episode till then you guys take care